I guess this is the second movie that I've done in the My Favorite Movies um, string of videos, I guess. But look, uh, Pulp Fiction is definitely one of my favorites. And, you know, a lot of people talk about, you know, checking your watch when you're when you're watching a movie. And you're like, man, this movie's long and you check your watch. This is the first time I checked how much time was left in the movie. Not because I was getting bored, but because I just didn't want it to end. Ranking movies is a fun thing to do, but it's also one of those things that kind of makes people think, oh, well, then the movies at the bottom are the are the are are the are not as good or something like that. But no, when it comes to Quentin Tarantino, to me, all of these movies are really, really, really good. This is, of course, my ranking. And yes, Pulp Fiction is at the top. But I'm kind of curious uh, for those of you out there that that are Tarantino fans. Leave your rankings down in the comment section below, and uh, and look, there's no wrong answer. That's that's really the point of this, right? It's 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 just a fun thing, and and which pe which movies people gravitate toward uh, more than others. Now, I'm not going to sit here and tell you a bunch of things that you already know about Pulp Fiction because there's really not a whole lot of ways to do that. Um, uh, I think Pulp Fiction has been studied and and talked about to death. So so for me, it's kind of like the things that you know, just still interests me about Pulp Fiction and why it's still like, man, what an amazing movie. The fact that it was released the same day as the Shawshank Redemption, which I guess somewhat of a spoiler alert, that's another one of my favorite movies of all time. Um, that's kind of crazy. And then both lost Best Picture to Forrest Gump. Hmm. Now, of course, this new 4K, uh, I say new, it's been out for a while now, but uh, there's some really interesting uh, things on this that, that were available on some of the previous editions. Um, just little tidbits like Travolta could have done this or he could have done From Dust Till Dawn. And he said, I'm just not a vampire guy, so why don't, we, why don't I play this role? I can't imagine him in in from Dust Till Dawn, and I can't imagine Pulp Fiction without John Travolta. I mean, he's he really is just amazing in this role. On the special features, there's a uh, a moment where you can kind of see Quentin's like dream list, dream cast. You know what I mean for for all the parts. And this person over on IMDb isn't listed here, and it got me really thinking. But it says that Jennifer Aniston was almost Mia, and I'm like. I can't, I can't even imagine that. That's like one of those weird alternate reality things where I just can't imagine it. But then again, Eric Stoltz was Marty McFly at the beginning and filmed a lot of the movie before he was fired. So I can't even imagine a whole movie of Eric Stoltz as Marty McFly. But hey, that there's, there's that too. Now, Quentin famously wrote the part of Jules Winfield for Samuel L. Jackson, but uh, Paul Calderon who plays uh, Paul the bartender. Hey, my name is Paul, and this is just between y'all. Was so good that he almost got the role. And when Samuel L. Jackson heard about this, he flew back to LA to audition again to make sure that that was his role. And I just think that's a, I just think that's a cool thing. Now I wanna talk about a few of my favorite scenes in the movie. And, and I, I know everybody has their favorites. You know, a lot of people will say, you know, oh, I shot Marvin in the face. That's one of their favorite scenes or, or whatever. But, but for me, uh, I'm just going to highlight a few of these because I think they're great. Um, but I don't hear a lot of people talking about the Vincent and Mia scene at Jack Rabbit Slims, basically not just the scene or a shot or two. No, I'm talking about that whole sequence is just absolutely amazing filmmaking because not a whole lot happens. You know, if you think about it, they're sitting there, they're talking, they get up, they do this dance and then it's over and it's, you're, you're locked in, you're locked into everything. And I think that has a lot to do with the acting. A lot of times in movies, you, you see, uh, this sort of stilted sort of acting, this, this feeling that things just aren't natural. And it's because a lot of times the directing is basically saying, just, just say the lines when it's your turn, basically. And, and it's, you can tell the actors are just waiting for the other person to stop talking so they can say their line. It doesn't flow like an organic conversation here. That's the way it goes. It feels like an organic conversation. Both Chandra Fulta and Uma Thurman are so locked in to that conversation 
that it feels organic. It feels natural. It feels like we're just sitting there watching this conversation take place. It's amazing stuff. So the directing definitely has a big part of that. The acting, of course, but then also a lot of credit goes to Sally Menke, the editor for Pulp Fiction and for many Quentin Tarantino films before her unfortunate passing. Amazing work. Like it's this, this, this whole scene just should not work as well as it does, but it does because of those things I just talked about. Another scene that I, I feel like it, it is definitely one of my favorites, but it's also, it's also one that I don't feel like a lot of people talk about when they talk about their favorite scenes. It's Christopher Walken, given his speech about the gold watch, his monologue, he's basically just sitting there. The camera's locked into his performance and he's just doing his thing. And uh, it's very funny uh, watching it, you know, a couple of times, you can kind of see that there's a moment where he, he loses the story for a second. And there's this pause and, and it, this gold watch, you know, it, it's just the way, the way he does it. And you know that he's, he's, he's like, okay, where am I? Where am I? Where am I? And then he gets back on, on track and Tarantino leaves it in. He leaves it in because it feels natural. And it's, it's just, again, an amazing scene, the editing, the directing, the acting. It's a great scene. Now, I think a lot of people will say that this is the movie that made them fans of John Travolta. And of course, John Travolta went on to make a lot of uh, different movies uh, in a lot of different genres, Face Off, Broken Arrow, those kinds of movies. But it for me, this movie was like my eyes were wide open to Samuel L. Jackson. Uh, at this point, at that at the end of that movie, when he's giving his uh, I'm trying, Ringo, I'm trying real hard to be the shepherd. Man, that that right there is that moment where I'm a fan of Samuel Jackson forever. I don't care what he does for the rest of his career. I'm a fan of this actor now. This is, this is just the way it is. And I think Samuel L. Jackson should have won uh, best, I think, best supporting actor, right? He totally, totally should have won. There is no performance in, I, seriously, in that period of time where I can think of anyone giving a better performance than Samuel L. Jackson, and it is actually a crime that he did not win. He's, he's awesome. And he's been awesome in so many things, even in the movies where, you know, you can tell that it's just kind of a paycheck, you know, he's just, he's just doing the thing, you know, so he can get that paycheck and, but he's still good. He's still good in the movie. So yeah, Samuel L. Jackson, one of my favorite actors, because of that scene. So I'll say this, if you owned Pulp Fiction previously and you're wondering if this is worth it, if you have a TV and a Blu-ray player that can take advantage of the 4K, I would say absolutely it's worth it. It is gorgeous. It is, I've never seen the movie looking so good. And that's, that's, that's all you need, right? If you're a fan of this movie, you need to own this. It's, it's an amazing transfer. Uh, all the special features, most of them, I think, are, are carried over from the previous ones. But but look, it's to me, it's it's a fantastic package. I love it. And I love Pulp Fiction. And yeah, definitely one of my favorite movies. So Pulp Fiction. Yeah, definitely one of my favorite movies ever. And definitely my favorite Tarantino movie. But I would like to hear from you. If you like Pulp Fiction, if you like uh, Tarantino, you want to give your ranking, put them down in the comment section. Let's talk about it, you know, and I'll I'll make sure that I, 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 I yell at you for not having Pulp Fiction at the top. I'm just kidding. It's all subjective and it's all fun. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one.